Flying is uh, still a thrill. I love it every day. Um, I'd say the biggest thing is now I've uh, just got a bigger aircraft behind me. So I am 19 right now. I started flying when I was 15 years old in high school. I'm currently right around just over 500 flight hours. I joined the Piedmont Cadet Program about a month ago now. Uh, now I'm definitely a lot uh, further down the road. I'm 21 years old with uh, about 1,700 flight hours. Uh, and I've uh, made it to Piedmont. I've definitely had the space to do things that I want to do within that. Even working on my commercial pilot certificate, I was able to take some time and go on some trips and stuff. I feel like I had to rush and feeling like I want to rush are uh, two uh, different things. I would say I definitely wanted to get through flight training in a timely manner. The pandemic that kind of got in the way, I wouldn't say I ever felt the time crunch. There's a want to get through training very fast, but it's going to come in time. And uh, having that understanding, being willing to slow down, uh, gather your bearings and uh, proceed forward in a more effective manner can definitely make a big difference, especially when uh, a lot of life changes show up. I feel like this one's going to change a little bit. The aviation industry has taken a drastic change, especially in the past decade or decade and a half. It's ultimately become a pilot's market, a mechanic's market, a flight attendant's market. There are tons of options out there now for whatever you're looking to get into. And the airlines want you to come work for them. Well, I would say the industry has uh, definitely changed a lot as a whole, uh, especially uh, in the past year. It comes down to trying to do your best to put yourself in the best position you can so you can be flexible and handle all the changes. So Piedmont has their flow to American Airlines it's sitting somewhere around the five year range right now, which is a great option, especially as a fallback if anything is to happen. The industry may change. It's changed in the past four years even. All right, so now that I've completed the cadet program, I would say the biggest thing the cadet program gave me was, um, I guess, confidence going forward, coming out of this uh, pandemic, knowing that I had a position waiting for me and uh, they helped prepare me going into training. But the biggest thing was, I know I have a place waiting for me there at the end. Oh, I can't wait for the day I get familiar with the E145. Again, it's gonna be another kind of beast to tackle. A uh, lot more systems, it's a lot bigger jet, more passengers, but it's something new and exciting that I really look forward to. So far, I've absolutely loved flying it, and really kind of between the size category it is and with all the um, technology in the aircraft, um, it still kind of feels like you have those stick and rudder skills. Being a wholly owned provides tons of options. Essentially, as a pilot or a cadet going through the Piedmont program, one day you have a job at American Airlines. There is some responsibility with that, but it's a great sense of security if anything is to change in the industry. But then being drawn to the East Coast, there's so many routes and it gives you plenty of options that you could commute relatively quickly and live where you want. It gives you the flexibility and lifestyle. Yeah, now that I'm on the East Coast, um, honestly, I've loved it so far. I'm living in Charlotte compared to Denver, when it definitely can be a little lower cost of living. It was one of my big motivations for moving down there is a uh, change of pace. I had a lot of different kind of variations in my dream when I first started flying when I was 15. But kind of now I'm seeing a more and more concentrated path of now I finally have the options to go to Piedmont the, um, and finally joining the Piedmont team, uh, being able to eventually fly for Piedmont, hopefully in a year to year and a half. I mean, ultimately I knew I wanted to fly. Now that we're here um, and continuing to prep for my future, the ultimate goal is to be a captain at American Mainline, preferably uh, on the Airbus down the road and then eventually wide body the 777 or 787 or whatever the next thing is to come throughout my career. I will say, at least uh, from what I've seen with Piedmont and our cadet program and how the flow is going, 
I think it's definitely uh, gonna be one of the quickest ways, if not the quickest way, to get to mainline and hope reach the final goals, at least in my case.